new addition to the WrestleForce roster, Remy Adetunji, scouted personally by WrestleForce management at an SLW training seminar in Surbiton. Remy Adetunji has been racking up impressive performance after impressive performance after impressive performance. As soon as he steps through the curtain, you know this is a man. You know this is a man that works hard in the gym and it is paying off. He is one of the most impressive recruits you will see here in WrestleForce and you're about to see why in this tag team match.
This is certainly going to be an interesting title defense for Westside Heat. Now, while Remy Adetunja and Voodoo have never tagged before, you can't argue that the credentials of both men make them formidable challengers. Voodoo, a former champion here in WrestleForce multiple times. Remy Adetunja, an absolute physical specimen. I think they're going to give Westside Heat a run for their money. Absolutely, and you know what? I agree. I see the fire, the hunger in Remy's eyes, and that veteran experience that Voodoo brings to the table. It's a very interesting mix match, but absolutely, I believe they'll give Westside Heat a run for their money. You know, there's a reason that they haven't turned down this match tonight, this opportunity to come. Remy is five, six, six matches in. The Remy Champions, the Tag Team Champions, there's a reason for it. Absolutely. Opportunities here in WrestleForce don't just get handed out. You have to earn them. And Remy Adetunje has undoubtedly earned every single thing here in WrestleForce. Neither man giving an inch on that lockup there, but Remy getting a slight physical edge over Smashing Mike. You know, these are four physically imposing men. They're big guys. Maybe they have the height advantage for sure. These other men, they're big lads. They're strong lads, and that's going to play a big part in this match. Smashing Mike looking to control the arm early. You control the wrist, you control the arm. Smashing Mike, powering down Remy Adetunje. Keeps hold of the arm. Voodoo with, with some, I'd say words of encouragement, but I'm not sure they were words from the apron. Voodoo, such a supportive tag partner, he's managed to... <laughs> I think he's still very tired from a big election day yesterday. Hasn't gotten much sleep. That's a beautiful take on you don't see often. Driving your shoulder, driving your opponents out and out of the comfort zone to pull them back down. Very interesting technique. I haven't seen that in a long time. But you know, Remy's a student of the game, adopting a look of almost like a new Japan young lion. Very respectful, honourable type of wrestler that he wants to be. And he trains very hard, and that's going to show in his in ring, especially tonight and especially tomorrow when he debuts at Rev Pro Wrestling. Very true. Remy Adetunje debuting in Revolution Pro Wrestling as their newest contender. And I'm sure he's going to make a big impact very quickly. And speaking of big impact, in comes the seven foot voodoo and immediately hits a massive exploder suplex. You know, he doesn't want any of Smashing Mike's fun and games in there, not messing about, throwing him down to the canvas, straight away. Here's where that experience comes into play. Here's where that height comes into play. 
and Smashing Mike tags in James Toner. Voodoo didn't see it, and James Toner comes flying in with a springboard clothesline. And James Toner takes it to Voodoo. Beautiful high jumping knee. You know, James Toner reminds me of almost a 2002 Triple H in the way he moves, the way he looks, the way he carries himself, the way he wrestles in the ring. Incredibly cerebral, incredibly poised. And James Toner, he's being smart, he's keeping on Voodoo. You have to keep Voodoo grounded. As soon as you let Voodoo get a little bit of momentum going, it's not good news for you. And James Toner again, jumping off the second, big smashing elbow. Stay on him, James, applies a front face lock. Drags him into the west side heat corner, tags in smashing Mike. This is smart, this is what they need to do. They need to do adopt two on one attack onto Voodoo and break him down. Take that base deep and grounded and that's the best opportunity they're going to have for retaining their tag titles. Fantastic tag team combination there. Voodoo positioning himself in a neutral corner, smashing Mike, not letting him get any rest. Whips him off. And now smashing Mike, charging in. Getting some hang time there. That's impressive. That's a mic. Short but strong and able to throw Voodoo from one side of the line to another. That's because there's levels to this. As Smashing Mike says, there's levels to this. And his training paying off. You see him working hard in the gym all the time. And now we're gonna see how the teamwork of Remy and Voodoo is gonna pay off and Drop. Oh, these two working almost like tag regular. It's the first time we've ever tagged together. They obviously had a game plan, stepped aside, realised that they're in there with tag team champions, a formidable tag team. So they probably worked on that game plan and got down some combinations of their own. And there is that signature drop kick of Remy. He gets such height and such power on it. Could we be about to see an upset here in Dagenham? Could we see new tag team champions crowned? Anything can happen here at WrestleForce, and I wouldn't count them out the way they're going right now. And here is that strength we were talking about. Beautiful story. Driving all the blood to rush to smashing Mike's head, potentially keep him unconscious, dazed, weary to get that three count. And you can hear this crowd here in Dagenham impressed by Remy Anatunje getting behind him and so strong he almost threw smashing Mike through the turnbuckle. Yeah, we could have another corner turnbuckle with Crawford for that careful one. So strong, so fast is Remy Adetunje. See, this is why the Sunday is climbing the ranking so quickly. The real awareness he has at such a, a new age in the ring. So be aware to cut it off, stop smashing Mike from getting that tag. That's, that's like years, that's years of experience to notice things like that. And this man's only a couple of years in if that. That shows a high ring IQ and he goes for the cover again, only a two, but every time Smashing Mike has to kick out, he's using more and more energy, he's exhausting himself, he's tiring himself. And now Remy Adetunje looks to add to that tiredness by squeezing the life out of him with a rear chin lock. Remy needs to be careful to not get Going to sleep here. Smashing Mike stays alive. Ah, 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 ah. Stays alive. Stays alive. And some body shots to Remy Adetunje. Backs him into the rope. Whips him off. Remy with the counter. Whoa. Smashing Mike. And oh, both men had the same idea. Both men knocking each other down. I think Remy shot a slot more than that. Both men taking each other down. Who can get their quick? Who can tag their partner in first? 
And if both men aren't able to get to their feet, we could see a double knockdown, a double knockout. And this match could end in a draw. However, Remy Adetunje inches closer, tags in Voodoo. Smashing Mike makes the tag as well. The two fresh men are in. James Toner ducks the big boot and he lifts up the big man. But Voodoo manages to crawl down. He does the same. Voodoo, Fireman's carry, James Turner up high in the air, and James Turner with a Hurricane Rana! Beautiful, beautiful counter from the Fireman's carry position. Taking Voodoo down, but Voodoo getting right back up. Catching Turner again. This is beginning to become a game of cat and mouse. The big man trying to catch the smaller man, the smaller man trying to hold his feet. He's doing a pretty good job with right now. James Turner manages to avoid the choke slam. Big European uppercut, bounces off the ropes. Jumps to the second, and a huge twisting elbow! Remy Adetunje tags himself in. I believe Smashing Mike did the same. Oh, and he pounces Voodoo out the ring! the difference maker in this match. With Voodoo incapacitated on the outside, Remy is essentially having to fight a handicap match against the reigning Tag Team Champions West Side Heat, Thrust Spinebuster. And James Toner with a beautiful Lion Soul. Smashing Mike the Legal Man has to make the pin. Remy Adetunje just able to kick out at two. Voodoo just able to get there in the nick of time as well. And you can see the effects of that pounce here. Voodoo hobbling on one leg, but still manages to catch James Toner out of midair. Choke slam from parts unknown. And now Smashing Mike looks like he's going for the ride. He's goozled. He goes up. He goes behind. And a full Nelson slam on the seven foot Voodoo. Sanjay, this has been so exciting to call! This is anyone's match. All four men are down. I have no idea which way this could go. We could be about to see an upset here in Dagenham. You've got to notice Voodoo clasping at that leg and trapped in the rope. It's never going to be a pleasant landing, but late in court like that. Smashing Mike, almost egging on Remy now to bring it. He wants it. He wants that West Road heat. He wants to feel Remy's heat right now. All men trading. This is like a slugfest, outright fist fight. Smashing Mike, showing Remy Adetunje why there are levels to this. And Remy Adetunje giving it straight back. James Toner takes down Voodoo with a big boot. West Side Smashing heat. Mike hitting at Superman 4, um, taking down Remy. And Westside Heat with the upper hand, firmly in control. Smashing Mike makes the tag to James Toner. James Toner, the legal man. Smashing Mike lifts Voodoo to the top. What could they have in store here? But Remy Adetunje to his feet as well. Oh, and it's Smashing Mike with a fireman's carry. And elevated! Fireman's carry into the neck breaker. And that's one way to break up a pin! Voodoo with a crushing swanton bomb from the top. He could have driven all the air out of James Toner's body. Drags Remy to the corner, tags himself in to make himself the legal man. Voodoo's in. Could we be about to see an upset? That is a six foot seven man moving like a five foot nine cruiserweight. Bell clap. Deaf and smashing Mike has him disoriented. Kick to the head as well. What is Voodoo going for here? And could we be about to see another double team manoeuvre? Is this it? The magic killer! The magic killer! This could be it! And referee Lee Cooper staying on top of the tax, telling Voodoo you're not pinning the right man. Voodoo is going to have to throw out smashing Mike. But it's Tony.
Turner. Turner with a fireman's carry. And an F5! An F5 here in Dagenham on Romeo Adetunji. Romeo Adetunji crawls to the ropes. Very smart. And Voodoo drags James Turner to the centre. I think we found out who both leaders are. Voodoo from his team. James Turner from West Side Heat. And Voodoo One is in control here. Mistaken. We may have, may have seen new tag team champions there. One critical mistake, you know, that... Right in, so good. right in the parts unknown. And now Smashing Mike is feeling it. He's taking advantage of this opportunity created by his tag team partner. Oh my god, he can break the wall. And a huge superplex! Voodoo finds himself laid out in the middle of the ring. And James Turner with a swanton bomb of his own. Smashing Mike keeps Remy Adetunji away. Westside Heat with another successful title defense. What an incredible match! And there is that competitiveness of Smashing Mike. WrestleForce TV events, thank you for joining us for another episode of WrestleForce TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again soon.